Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always it's a pleasure to join you. Today we've got a number sequence question, I'm going to get straight into it. So they've asked us which number is missing in the number sequence below. So we start off with a third, then we've got the gap, so that's obviously what they want us to find. Then 1 12th, 1 24th, 1 48th. Now guys, when it comes to a number sequence question like this, you always follow a very specific process. You first need to identify whether or not there is a common difference. Okay, whether there's a common difference between each of the terms. If there isn't, then you go on to the second step and you try and figure out whether or not there is a common ratio, a constant ratio between the terms. If that doesn't show up, then you need to look for some sort of special sequence. So now looking at this, I can immediately see that there isn't really a common difference. Okay, so there isn't a common difference. I notice that the numerators are staying the same. And I can see that there is some very special pattern taking shape in the numerator. So I'm going to rule out that there, there isn't a, a common, common difference in this number sequence. So I'm going to move on to the constant ratio to see whether or not we can identify whether there is a, a constant ratio. So when we do that, we take the one term. So I'm going to use this term, for instance. So I'm going to take this term and I'm going to divide it by this term. That's going to be my first step. So 1 over 48 over 1 over 24. Okay. How can I rewrite that? Well, I can rewrite that as 1 over 48. Now, remember, 1 over 48 is being divided by 1 over 24. So I can just swap them around, tip in times. Okay. And now I can see that I've got 24 over 48, which is going to be 1 over 2. All right. So that's 1 over 2. Now, let's see if I do the same thing with this term and this term, whether I get the same result. So I'm going to go 1 over 24 over 1 over 12. Again, I can rewrite that as 1 over 24 times 12 over 1. And that's going to give me 12 over 24 which again is 1 over 2. So we can see that there is, in fact, a constant ratio. And all we are doing is we're times in the term before by half. We're times in the term before by half. Okay, so let's see how that works. If we times 1 over 12 by half, it would be 1 over 24. That works. If we times 1 over 24 by half, it would be 1 over 48, which works. Now, what would we do to get the next term, considering that our first term is 1 over 3. So if we've got 1 over 3, and we times that by 1 over 2, that's going to give us 1 over 6. So that will be the answer we're looking for. And that answer happens to be A. Thank you very much to our sponsors for making this video possible. Read up about them in the description below. Remember to check out our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, remember you can send us your question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.